What is up, guys? Flood and Mod 14. And we're back here with some more Duelist of the Roses, the ranking challenge. Um, yeah, I plan to record like yeah, two or three episodes of this, so let's just start versus uh, Red Tractor here. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's the plan. And we're just gonna actually, hopefully, uh, it didn't really happen the last time we recorded, but hopefully we can get into uh, one or two duels where the uh, the uh, what am I trying to say? The uh, <laughs> the AI kind of start stalls out and starts skipping their turns. Uh, yeah, because uh, ultimately I think that will help us, you know, uh, make a little faster progress in this challenge if. Uh, we start getting the uh, the computer to zero turns. Let's play Magic Jammer. Yeah. All right. Oh man, this game's fun. Also, sorry if the volume's a little you know lower than I normally keep it, but uh, eh, we got some people sleep around here, so not trying to be too rude. Huh. I could send Man Eater Bug this way. That's. Or electric lizard. Let's send man eater bug. Could be a bird trap. I don't know. I don't, maybe I should have saved man eater bug for this. But he didn't power up, did he? No. no. Okay. All right. One well, to turn Rex. Oh wow! And he's not doing diddly. All he's doing is attacking with Anthrosaurus here, which definitely isn't his strongest monster. So. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, what time is it? Okay. Oh, and uh, just a heads up, guys. Uh, as as is pretty common in Duels of the Roses, like, normally I just record, you know, two or three of, of these uh, duels back to back to back to back. So, like, this may be like part one of a duel, and then, uh, ooh, we got a Kairush infusion, that's nice. So yeah, just a heads up, this may be like part, let's move back here, this may be part, you know, uh, one, and then, you know, next episode, part two, and then, yeah, because like, normally these, uh, these can go, you know, a little longer than 30 minutes, which is fine, like, usually I, when I record Duels of the Roses, I always allot myself, like, you know, like a good, you know, two hours. That gives me time to like, you know, have time to record three, and then also gives me enough time to, uh, uh, you know, transfer in between. You know, so. And usually the last, uh, the last episode will just wrap things up. You know, so just letting you guys know. You know, that's the deal, yo yo. Scratch attack, push all. Headbutt, whatever. Look at Kyrie Shin. He's just like, Tow. <laughs> he's getting ready to bite. A chomp. Oh, wait, what's going on here? Oh my god, it's my game. Kyrie Shin, buddy. Buddy, I need you to attack back. What's going on? Uh. Uh oh. Oh my god, are we gonna have another technical difficulty to start this recording session? Oh, no. Uh, this reminds me of all the ones in Forbidden Memories. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can... What happens if I... It's so weird. Like, he's not attacking at all. Oh, my God. Kyrie, you should go, go, go. Oh, wait, what happens if I press circle? Please, like, be fine. I mean, I did start just start the recording, to be fair, though. Oh, thank God. Thank God. That was really, really weird. I don't know... I don't know what the dealio was. Okay. Phew. We did it, guys. We unglitched the game. Um, hmm. I could send another Kyrie Shin. Maybe I should send one on this row with Man Eater Bug. That's probably a good idea. Yeah. Okay. And in the meantime, we'll send this. Oh, yeah, it was Bear Trap. I thought so. I thought so. So. It's fine, it's fine. You know, it's not like we're trying to make me or bug, you know, and uh, a deck leader all the way up. 
Let's have Gogo -Go go all the way over here. I'll probably have him stop right here, switch to defense mode. Um, yeah. But yeah, that's the plan for this, uh, you know, recording uh, session, let's say. You know, two, two or three episodes, so maybe in two or three parts, you know. Power increase. That's a little scary. I mean, like, for example, if he did power increase his, uh, yeah, raise body heat. Like, let's say that's his practical with 1900, and then he just power increased it. Uh, that can get over our, um, Kairiushin, actually. So, ooh, and we got Amoeba, too. Hmm. You know what? Here's what I'm gonna do for you, Rex. I'm going to... Let me think really carefully. I think, hmm, yeah, let's send Amoeba up that way. Kairishin Retreat. We'll send Amoeba next turn. For now, play a little Aqua Course, and Gogoyle just keep going around the outside there. And yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, and he is starting to move it forward. That's good. That's ultimately what I want. I just want to make sure that that's not like practical or well I guess Brachio radius or Riadus would also be you know equally as dangerous um, so yeah we'll just keep Kairishin back here maybe I'll have Kairishin go around this side honestly because um, hmm, or maybe I'll have a move in once the uh, once I clear whatever this is yeah because he can create more water so all right, Gogoyle, you're almost to your designated square, buddy. And he's playing a lot more cards now, so... Okay. Yeah, yeah, come forward. Sparks. Ha-ha! I will not be taking damage from you all, Sparky. Probably one of the worst magic cards we could have negated, but, I mean, it's not like we had to worry about his, uh... Is that, ooh, that's good. Aki Huron. Okay. So let's retreat this Kairushin. Yeah. And we'll go with Aki Huron Fusion Hall. Very good, very good. And let's just flip this one up. He's already played Bear Trap, so I don't mind sending Aqua Dragon in to just kind of, you know, storm things. Uh, we're going to see what this is before I Aqua Chorus. Actually, yeah, that's probably a good call. Uh, still coming at my gold boil, huh? Yeah, what is this? What you got, Rex? It was a practical. Good thing I retreated, dear old Kairushin. Yeah, because uh, even with losing the bonus, Moistland, he would have been at 2400. So glad I retreated. That was a good decision. That's some heart of the cards from Amoeba. So, that's good. Shit. Yeah, this thing looks like Cattle Blood Loss from uh, Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Speaking of Final Fantasy VIII, yeah, I recently started a, uh, recently started Let's Playing that again. Which, it's been fun so far. So far, so good. So. Alright. Um. Uh huh. Let's go with. Okay, well we know this isn't Brachio Radius now, so let's go with Spike Seedra. Sure, we just want to clear this uh, monster out the way. Aqua Chorus. Very good. And yeah, let's just Aqua Dragon up in here. I didn't pay attention to his side of the field, so I don't know if he has a Brachio Radius or not, but, uh... If he does, it's no big deal. Uh, actually, let's start skipping some of the battles. That way I'll try to get, you know, two duels in for this, uh... This first episode. Let's start skipping some battles. Abbreviate. Okay. And, uh, oh, I guess Kairishin, you can go around this side, now that this side's clear. Uh, Spike Seedra, go. 
Yeah, and really with Aqua Dragon, Stool should be wrapped up. I mean, I would think so anyway. Um, so yeah, let's go this way in the turn. Yeah, Rex is running. Ooh, he did have a Brachio Radius. Man, I powered that thing up, didn't I? So it's, uh, it's pretty powerful. That's pretty powerful. 3,300. Mm-hmm. Huh, so you ran away with this monster, huh? What is it? Ooh, not too small. Well, it was a practical. I can see his logic, but, uh, yeah, oof. That's a lot of damage, Rex. Down to 350. Yeah, okay. Um, let's move. Well, let's see what we drew here first. Rock Ogre Grotto, huh? Um, let's move here. Spike Seedra here. Uh, hmm. I could send something this way to intercept the Brachio Rebus. Eh, let's not worry about it for now. Um, yeah, Aqua Dragon sh should be enough to end the duel. Yeah. Well, in the turn. In fact, if we can convince him to attack Aqua Dragon, we just win. You know, if we convince Brachio Rebus. Oh, he's switched to defense with a 3,300-point monster. Hmm. Bold move, Rex. Bold move. What if I move here? What will you do then? And uh, let's just flip up Kairushin to get the experience points. Because I got a feeling he's just going to attack us there. So, yeah. And uh, what else do I want to get the experience points? Uh, yeah, you're pretty high level. Um, yeah, you, you get some experience there. Ferocious uh, <laughs> Sea King. Almost called him the Ferocious Sea King, which that's not too far off. Furious, Ferocious, basically synonyms. So, all right, attack me. Yes, yes, play your card. Attack me. Thank you. Alrighty, and that will be the end of the duel, so, yep. Alright, we didn't run him out of turns, but that's okay. We'll try to run somebody out of turns today. You win! Alright. Okay. And I don't really necessarily want any of Rex's cards, so I guess we'll try for a three in a row. Because we've dueled him plenty of times. Uh, okay, two at a King Rex, you're up. Uh, and it's kind of hard to see. Oh, I missed it. Okay, well, uh, I don't know. I guess we'll try for Brachio Radius. Uh, oh, missed it by one. Or by two or three. But at least we got three different cards, so. And uh, Sparks? It can be kind of helpful, honestly. You know, if you're trying to fit in a card with high deck cost, you can just take out, uh, yeah, you can just take out, uh, we're gonna fight Weevil here, just to mix things up, but yeah, uh, you can take out, like, you know, something, you can take out, like, a 2 of King Rex for, with 28, put in Sparks, wow, that's our first one, too, that's crazy, for only 2 deck cost, yeah, uh, let's go with Rogue. Yeah, the Rose deck. I think this is the only one I have with a deck cost low enough to fight people, so... Yeah, we'll go with that. Just to mix it up, just to mix it up. And like with the Rose deck, I don't really try to <laughs> level up Rosie, necessarily. Um, if we do, that's cool, but, you know... Mainly it's just so I don't, uh... I don't feel stagnation. You know, just dueling Rex and... Rex and Keith over and over. So. Alrighty, what do we got here? Ooh, we got the ritual. Oh yeah, what do you do? I forget. If face up can move two spaces at a time regardless of terrain, that's really good. We also got Dark Magician here. Hmm. Okay, so the real question is, do I go for the cool factor? Summon this pretty early? Or do I... Uh, you know, we do have a ritual card here. Let's just do this. And next turn, we will show some animations. I'm going for the cool factor, guys. In case you had figured it out. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure we have seen Dark Magician attack. 
Um, ooh, nice, nice. And now this has a power up. That is nice. Yeah, that's nice. Um, but yeah, we'll just, uh, you know, I haven't seen it attack since, uh, since I, you know, basically rebooted this, came back to this LP, so, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing it. You attack again, Dark Magician. I really wouldn't. Yeah, attack me. Oh, Isn't that how he started last time, too, with Maneater Bug? Bro, you can't be just... <sighs> this guy doesn't want to let me see the animation, man. That's not cool. Oh, yeah, and I wasted all my summoning stars. <laughs> Oh, evil buddy. Alright, alright. Let's just move here. And let's, uh... I don't know, man. Let's just set this right here. <laughs> and he really got me with that man-eater bug, bro. Let's kind of bank it on that dark magician, man. I'm just saying. Yeah, move your bug backwards. Alright, alright. Let's see. Hmm. I mean, I could just start getting bugs for this ritual here, since my plans were kind of foiled. Yeah, two insects and Hercules Beetle? That sounds manageable. I mean, I could play Hercules Beetle right now, right here. Take out this, and uh, yeah, let's retreat this power up, shall we? Yeah. All right, Weevil, all right. I can't believe you did that to my Dark Magician, oh man. How dare you. Alright. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, dude, yeah, I'm gonna show a cool attack. First turn, man eater bug. It's like, bruh. <laughs> you just had to do that, huh? Alright, now you're gonna get it. Infinity Slicer. Yeah, like, take that, me and your bug, that's payback. Oh my dog magician, how dare you. Alright. Over the next two turns, we'll play a couple of uh, insects. And we'll call it good. Let's make sure there's not a, uh, what you call it. Okay. Uh, yeah, he plays this card. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen it a lot of times. But um, uh, Weevil will play... What's the name of that card? It, like, stops your movement um, a lot. What's it called? Is it called? Yeah, Block Attack. Block Attack. I had to think, because I, I was picturing Stop Defense, which is basically the picture on the card. But no, it's actually, um, yeah, block attack. So, that's the card I was thinking of. Man, he's storming the troops here. Look at him. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Okay. All right. Well, let's, uh, once again, make sure there's no block attack. Let's move this right here. Ah, exactly what I was talking about. There we go. Very good. We baited that. Okay, which is good. Because now I can play this insect. And uh, have I ever showed a ritual in this game? I think I have, but uh, well, if not, here you go, guys. First ritual. Go, Javelin Beetle Pack. And this is what a ritual looks like. Yeah. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. There you go. And we get Javelin Beetle. Yeah, gets uh, 600 points when attacking a dragon. <laughs> Pretty interesting effect. But we'll attack this card. Ah, Hercules beat up your own, eh? Alrighty. Alright. And, and we'll show Javelin Beetle here. I mean, it's not too often I get to summon this card, so... Yeah, it looks pretty cool. I mean, <laughs> Javelin Beetle definitely hitting the gym. Look at that. Yeah. Sacred Scepter! Yeah. <laughs> this guy... He's at lift day, man. Look at those abs. <laughs> oh, man. 
Alright, there we go. Uh, maybe next turn I'll use a power-up on him? Eh, maybe I'll use it on Hercules Beetle. I don't know, yeah, 2900 is pretty solid. Eh, maybe I will use a power-up on him, I don't know, I don't know. We'll just uh, go back to skipping battles on the turn. Well, to be fair, he did power up that card. Um, if that's a Hercules Beetle, he, he could... I mean, a Quag Quagar Hercules? He could actually beat me. So, yeah. I'm going to... Let me just see here real quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna... Uh, move Rosie here. Move this to trigger the block attack. We're gonna move this right here. Move this over this. Power increase, there we go. And let's show the animation again. It was a Quagata Alpha, oh, okay, okay. I played it a little safe there, but I mean, better safe than sorry, right? I'm gonna get a drink. attack mode again? You are. Not too smart, Weevil. Not too smart. Uh, let's just, uh, yeah. Well, let's see if I drew Rose. Mm, no. Okay, oh, I was about to say, or a way to fuse it, but no. Uh, let's just attack this. Quagar Hercules. So he did have a Quagar. Okay. But I think this will be the end of the duel, so... Pretty good one. Hmm. As a matter of fact, we're, we are at about like 20, 23 ish minutes. I could end the episode right here, actually. We got two duels in, which sometimes the duels don't go that fast, so I'm actually kind of glad. Um, yeah, maybe I will end things after here. That would be kind of a good ending point. Okay. And then next episode, we'll start by. We'll probably duel Keith, probably, yeah. Or maybe I'll duel Rex again. I don't know. We'll duel somebody. <laughs> we'll duel somebody. Well, yeah, duh, Josh. It's a, uh, it's a Yu-Gi-Oh game. We're gonna duel somebody. Uh, let's see here. I think I actually have plenty of man eater bugs, so let's go for, like, block attack? Three and nine? Yeah. Okay, we got uh, Hercules and Beetle, so let's try for three in a row here. Ooh, okay, 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 maybe we can do this. Let's see. Oh, I missed my one. Well, I tried, guys. I tried, I tried, I tried. Darn it. We could have ended it in an epic fashion. That's okay, though. That's okay. At least I had a chance to, yeah. Alrighty, guys, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this one. Um, just gonna transfer some stuff to my computer, and, yeah, we'll be back to duel somebody. Uh, oh, wait, wait, we haven't unlocked this? Oh, right, I think this guy's at actually at a, a kernel, now that I think of it. I was just like, yeah, I really haven't played Darkness Ruler. Well, uh, yeah, you can't. Not yet, Josh, because of the, uh, we are not at a high enough rank yet. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Maybe next time I'll go with this deck. Ooh, maybe not. That'd be a bad idea to go with this deck against, uh, <laughs> against, uh, uh, Keith. Yeah, that'd be a bad idea. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. <clears throat> Alright. We'll get the deck ready for next time. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah. Okay. See you guys all next time.
Alrighty. Have a good day.